So chemists typically talk about the relative acidity and basicity of solutions using the pH scale. So pH means the negative log of the concentration of hydronium in a given solution. And we use the pH scale just to make it easier to represent these numbers and it's also going to make some of our calculations easier as we go along. So here one of the important skills is if you're given a concentration of hydronium is to calculate the pH. And so as we go along, when we start looking at um, Ka reactions, what we're going to end up with is calculating a concentration of hydronium. And then typically what we're going to do is represent that answer as a pH. So if I give you a concentration of hydronium of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 11th, you need to calculate the pH. So pH is negative log of the concentration of hydronium. Um, you take the log value of this and take the negative number and you end up with a pH of 11. So you need to remember that log is just a function on your calculator. So it's a button. And what you do typically is enter in 1.0 times 10 to the minus 11th and then you hit the log button. And when you do that, uh, the calculator should present a uh, negative 11 as a number. And then with the pH, you need to take the negative of, it, negative of that to get to 11. So just remember, log is just really just a function on your calculator. So another version of this calculation is, say you're given a pH and you want to come up with the concentration of hydronium. So here again, pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of hydronium. You take the negative of both sides and then you take the inverse log and you find out that the concentration of hydronium is 1.6 times 10 to the minus third for a pH of 2.8. So here you're going to be taking the inverse log, which is still just a function on your calculator. So the first thing you do is you take the negative of both sides, you end up with negative 2.80, and then you're going to take the inverse log and the inverse log is typically the second function on the log button on your calculator. So you enter in negative 2.80, you hit second function, and then you hit log, and that will give you the answer of 1.6 um, times 10 to the minus third. And the inverse log function looks like 10 to the x, so x in this case was negative 2.80. So even though we typically talk about acidity and basicity in terms of pH, uh, a lot of the calculations we're going to do is going to give us information about uh, hydroxide. So we also need to consider pOH. So we're going to find out p is just a generic function, which just means the negative log of something. So pOH is the negative log of the concentration of hydronium. So even though uh, some of our calculations will give us a concentration of hydronium, typically we report answers in terms of pH. So it's very important for us to be able to convert pHs um, to pOHs and vice versa. So the easiest way to do that is by remembering that the Kw ex equilibrium expression says that the concentration of hydronium and hydroxide are linked together by the constant Kw. So if we take the negative log of this whole expression, we get the pKw, which is uh, the negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 14th, which is 14, is equal to P, uh, pH plus the pOH. So if you're given one of these values, it's very easy to find the other one. So in terms of some of the things you might get on exams, it's vital to be able to interconvert concentrations of hydronium concent to concentrations of hydroxides, like pHs to pOHs. Um, that's something that you should be able to do very readily. So this is a good example. If I give you that the pH is 1.7, what will be the pOH and then the corresponding concentration of hydroxide? Well, calculating the pOH is pretty straightforward. Uh, given this equation, if we solve for pOH, that says that the pOH is just 14 minus the pH. So in this case, it is 12.3. Uh, um, then we take the same idea that pOH is the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide. Here, um, if we solve for the concentration of hydroxide, that's 5.0 times 10 to the minus 13th.
And now that we understand the idea of pH, um, if you remember when we were talking about KW, we in pure neutral water, remember there is a given concentration of hydronium and a given concentration of hydroxide, and they are both 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7th. So if you take, if you find the pH of this value, you will find that the pH is equal to 7. And so that's where neutrality, the idea of neutrality comes from, is that in a neutral solution, um, the concentration of hydronium is 1 times 10 to the minus um, 7th, which gives you a pH of 7. So how we relate this, um, remember we use pH to discuss acidity and basicity. When the pH is less than 7, that means that our concentration of hydronium is greater than the concentration of hydroxide, and we define this as being acidic. And then if the pH is greater than 7, the concentration of hydroxide is greater than the concentration of hydronium, and we consider this basic or alkaline.